One can argue that list views are one of an end user's most commonly used features in Salesforce. A list view is a custom view of records that displays a specific subset of data based on criteria that you set. It's a powerful tool to quickly access important records, highlight areas needing attention, and also provide visibility into queues. But first of all, what objects need a list view? As an admin, you might not know the answer to this question immediately, but figuring out what your users need before building is always the first step. So spend some time with your users to understand what exactly they need. In this video, we'll cover the top 10 list views that you should create within your Salesforce org. Though it covers only the standard Salesforce objects, you can take these guidelines and apply them to custom objects in your org as needed. First is the My Customers list view. The account object already comes with several list views and one of them being My Accounts. Now, while this particular list view is useful for filtering out only the accounts that you own, it's quite common for a user to be set as the owner of multiple account records that he currently isn't targeting. Now, in the long run, this can lead to poor performance and slow loading on the account list view as it displays a full bunch of accounts under a user's name. Now, the key here is to add more filters. For example, my accounts could turn into my important accounts or my active accounts. This filtered view will keep out unnecessary accounts and show only the ones that you're actively working on. It's great for sales reps to see their current customers at a glance. The next account list view is My Target Accounts. Now, this is actually just a slight variation of the first one as every org has high priority accounts. This list view highlights only the key accounts and is mainly used to ensure that all these accounts get the attention that they actually deserve. You can add more filters to this and you can also change the name to My Priority Accounts, Tier 1 Accounts, or anything that is more aligned with the terms in your business. Now next, let's move on to opportunities. First one, and probably the most important one, is My Open Opportunities. If you don't already have this in your org, consider having one as it's a crucial view for managing your sales pipeline. It shows all your open opportunities and all you need are just two filters. My Opportunities and Closed Equals False. The next one is My Opportunities Closing Soon. In this list view, you can replace soon here with your team's working time period, something like this quarter or this year. This will depend on the length of your sales cycle and also the expectations of the management team. This is useful as it shows opportunities closing in a specific time period, such as quarter or year, and it also helps prioritize upcoming deals. The next for opportunities is My Opportunities Past Due. Oftentimes when people are looking at open opportunities, they're looking at records that close in the near future, like this week or next quarter. Since people are so focused on this, it's easy to forget to also look at things where the close date has already passed, even though the opportunity is still left open. If this is not dealt with, you can end up with hundreds of old opportunities with old close dates that just get perpetually ignored. This list view highlights those opportunities, ensuring that nothing falls through the cracks. Now on to our next standard object, let's discuss leads. First, and probably again the most important one for this object, is My Open Leads. The standard lead list views may already have all open leads, but this one focuses only on a single owner's leads and those that are still open. It excludes all the disqualified or closed leads as your sales team should be spending their time focusing on the leads that actually have conversion potential rather than spending their time sorting out these leads. The next one is My High Priority Leads or My MQLs or Marketing Qualified Lead. Similar to opportunities, some leads are of higher value than others. Maybe your org has certain criteria or MQL criteria that have been tagged by your marketing platform. 
Now, these leads are obviously of higher priority than a standard list import or let's say a trade show booth list and would probably need more focused attention. This particular list view targets high value leads, giving your team a fast and easy way to access them. Next are queue owned records, and this is not only specifically for leads, it's also for cases, as leads and cases are the two objects that are most often using queues. Usually these are new inbound records, and for leads and cases owned by queues, this view helps manage those new and unsorted records efficiently, ensuring that they get assigned to the appropriate users. When adding the filters, make sure to exclude leads that are disqualified or cases that have already been closed. And finally, let's look specifically at cases. First are the critical or high priority cases. If you're using the case object, then chances are that your org has some sort of indicator for critical, high priority, or escalated cases. Filtering your case list view to show only these creates a very important list view where both agents and also the management teams can immediately see the status of all current critical open cases. And lastly, finally for admins, we have users and profiles. Admins, this one is for you. The no logins last 30 days list view helps track inactive users like former employees who never got deactivated and ensuring you don't waste valuable Salesforce licenses to maintain security. Now also, list views for profiles can be important as they can give you a quick snapshot of which profiles have which permissions. Like for example, you can filter all profiles that give the modify all data permission. And that is it. I think this was a short and sweet video that can help you decide on which basic but important list views should be in your org. Creating these list views will significantly improve your team's efficiency. But remember, it's also important to manage and clean up your list views regularly. Do not go overboard with list views. Remember to not let outdated or unnecessary views clutter your workspace. Make sure to pay attention to visibility settings, who can create and modify certain views, and use consistent naming conventions to keep everything organized. And that's it for our overview of the 10 essential list views for every Salesforce org. For more detailed instructions and tips, be sure to read the full article by Stacy O'Leary on Salesforce Ben, and the link can be found in the description box. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Salesforce tips and tricks.